them. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land and of the free and the home of the Thanks a lot. We appreciate you singing the national anthem. So, Trevor Spears will be driving car number 21. Car number 93. I'm talking he just pulled in the gate. That's Michael Hill out of Kilgore, Texas. It's going to be C.J. Howe, car number two. Lead him off into turn number one and two. With Lee Davis, car number 100, right on his rear bumper, followed by the 28 car. All right, it's going to be C.J. Howe so far leading every lap so far in this race here with the 100 on his rear bumper trying to close up that gap. That is Lee Davis in car number 100. C.J. gets a little bit crossways. Here comes Lee Davis. He closed the gap up. Bubba Jones is driving the 28 car. Just found out tonight. So Bubba Jones trying to get around the inside of the 100 of Lee Davis as they go into turn number one and two. C.J. Howe, car number two, steal your leaders. They go down the box straight away. Howe's going to stretch it out to about three, maybe four cars. They go off into turn number three. Coming into turn number three and off of four. It's all going to stay the same. C.J. Howe still out front, halfway through from your flag man. Larry Horn on the flag stand. The 808 car, Logan Elmwood. Sitting in the four spot, car number 21 and fifth. That's going to be driven by Trevor Spear out of Marshall, Texas. And the 93 car of Michael Hill to round out the field out of Kilgore. Still leading by car number two, C.J. Howell. C.J. is about two years away from getting his driver's license. He'll be able to drive on the street. And already he's got more feature wins. Probably He's probably got more feature wins than a lot of men out here will have in their entire life. So the 100 car of Lee Davis still in the number two spot. Bubba Jones, car number 28, sits in third. White flag will fly this time around as C.J. Howell, car number two, still your leader. All right, a half lap to go right now for car number two, C.J. Howells. He brings him into turn number three. Checker flags are in the air from your flagman, Larry Horn, coming off of turn number four. Here comes your winner, C.J. Howell. Car number eight, I believe that's Freydu, car number eight. So it's Rodney Howe, your leader, down the back straight away. Here comes T.J. Evans, car number seven. They go three wide into turn number three, and we're going to have a yellow flag. Lights are out. We're going racing this time around. Car number four on the pole. Boone Evans out of Bullard, Texas. Brings him off. He gets together the three car.
Green light still on. We're going racing. Yellow finally flies. Caution, he'll go to the trailer. So car number four, Boone Evans out of Bullard, Texas. He'll bring him into turn number three. Larry's got the flag high in the air, waiting on Larry to throw it. Larry throws the green flag. We're off and racing. Here we go. Rodney Howell, car number three, is going to lead him down the front straightaway into turn number one and two. Out of one and two. There, it looks like the Blue Angels as they go down the back straightaway. Rodney Howell, car number three, your leader. And making his way to the number two spot. Sean Graham to the inside. The eight car. Caution's on the track for Sean Graham. Sean Graham with the triple X. So Rodney Howe, car number three, he'll lead them through turns number one and two. Down the back straightaway, Todd Fredo, car number eight and second. Sean Graham, the triple X to the inside. He splits the middle. They're coming off at of turn number four. Rodney Howe is going to lead the lap. Todd Fredo, car number eight and second. Sean Graham, car number triple X up to the number three spot. Sean Graham will look at the inside of Todd Fredo as they go out of turn number two. Down the back straightaway, side by side, all the way into turn number three and four. Beating and banging. We're all still clean and green. Everybody is happy. Car number three, your leader. So Rodney Howe, car number three, still your leader, followed by Sean Graham and car number triple X. Triple X to the inside. They go side by side into turn number three and four. Green. Oh! Rodney gets launched into the corner. It looks like he's got a flat on the left front. Make it the right front. So Sean Graham, car number triple X, your leader, down the back straight away. Sean Graham, car number triple X, your leader down the back straightaway. Todd Fredu in the number two spot, driving car number eight. And car number 101, Greg Atwood, bringing up the rear in car number 101. Car number 100, your leader, 100 plus your leader, that's Brian Cook. Followed by Dalton Dubois in car number 55. Cortland Smith, car number five, uh, seven in the third spot. Brian Cook, car number 100, brings him off a of turn number four. Back to your flagman, down the front straightaway. Dalton Dubois, car number 55 in second. Now we've got a pretty good battle back here for third, fourth, and fifth. Portland Smith, car number seven in the third spot. Joshua Martin, car number 88 side to side with the 101 of Greg Atwood.
Ryan Cook, car number 100, still your leader, followed by the 55 car of Dalton Dubois. Right, Brian Cook, he'll bring it, bring it around this time. He'll pick up the white flag. One lap to go. Down the back straightaway, car number 101 coming into three, off of four. Here comes your winner for heat race number three. Number 12, Dwayne Reigns in car number 7L. All right, the 77 car. That's a brand new car out here with us. Tyler Dubois in car number 77 just found his name. Sorry about taking so long here. You're a leader right now. Driving car number 8C. Will Carter out of Iola, Texas. Bo Perry, car number 12 in the number 2 spot. Freddie Blanchard, car number 7. The white 7 is in the 3rd spot. Dwayne Reigns in the black 7 in the 4th spot. So Will Carter brings him off a of turn number four all the way to the top of the track. Watch out, he nails the wall. And I started riding along with him and I said, man, you better turn the steering wheel. He didn't turn quick enough. He nailed the wall, come down the front straightaway. Will Carter driving the Agent Orange number seven. Here comes Bo Perry looking to the inside in car number 12 as they come off a of turn four. We got a good race tonight now. For the leads, they go off into turn number one and two. Bo Perry, car number 12, has worked his way to the rear bumper of the 8th state car of Will Carter. We got a good race back here between the two sevens for the third and fourth spot. Freddie Blanchard, car number seven, Dwayne Reigns. And we have got a battle for the lead with two to go. Will Carter, car number 8C, your leader, Bo Perry, all over his rear bumper. Oh, Perry to the inside of Will Carter as they go off into turn number three. We'll pick up one to go this time around. Bo Perry, car number 12, all over the rear bumper of the AC of Will Carter. He gives him a little shot in the shorts, gets him a little bit loose coming out of turn number three, down the back straightaway as they go into three. They're kind of leaning on one another. It's going to be Will Carter in car number 8C. Freddie Blanch. All right, here we go. We're getting, lights are out. We're going racing. Ben McDuff on the pole. Brittany Shereen outside of hell in car number triple X. The B-51 of Brandon Jackson in car. He make out the number here. Car number double zero. That's David Vodsbury. Brittany Shereen is your leader as they go off into turn number one or three and four i'm sorry Brittany shereen is your leader now these are your stinger class here this is the most affordable way to go racing you can think of
Get you a four-cylinder, a little Honda. Get you a Cobalt. Whatever. Just knock the windows out. Put you a cage in there. A removable steering wheel and a fuel tank. And some nice, pretty decals. You got your race car. So, Brittany Shireen, car number triple X, your leader. Got the Tornado on a rear bumper. Ben McDuff. Car number double zero pulls off the track. That is David Vodsbury is out of the track. Down the back, straight away, white flags in the air. Brittany Shireen, car number triple X, is your leader. The Tornado's trying to catch up. Car number F5, Ben McDuff. <laughs> Checkers in the air, coming off a of turn number four. Oh, Brittany better get on the gas. Oh. What a race. I'm down to a good, 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 slow, slow pace. Larry might fall asleep. Larry, don't lock your legs. You're going to fall over here. Here we go. Through three and four. We fire Jared Wallace out of West Monroe, Louisiana. Car number 54. You're a leader down the front straightaway. Connor Williams, car number 47, 47 cc in the number two spot. Check out Ryan Slot, car number 49. He'll work his way to the number three spot on the inside of Dylan Spear, car number 22. As they come off a of turn number three and four, it's going to be Red Wallace, your leader. So Jared Wallace out of West Monroe, Louisiana. Just got this car put back together. He's got to put out front right now. With Connor Williams, car number 47cc in the number two spot. Followed by Dylan Spear, Ryan Slott, and the nine car, Spencer Coleman. Not sounding good for Red Wallace. He goes to the top of the track and he'll park it up there. So Connor Williams, car number 47CC, your leader. Dylan Spear looks to the inside as they go through turns number one and two. Ryan Slot has blends in with the rest of the track. But anyway, we got a pink tire over here, and that's where you're going to start at. All right, we fire them off here. Here we come down the front straightaway. Connor Williams, your leader. I asked him if his wife was here tonight to be a crew chief. He said, no, nope. she's at home taking care of a sick dog. So sometimes you just got to do those kind of things. Dylan Spear, car number 22, trying to work his way up. Williams is stretching the lead out. Connor Williams is stretched out to about an eight or nine car length down the back straightaway. In turn number three and four. This time around, Premier Flagman Larry Horn. Ryan Slot, car number 49. Currently in the third spot, checkers are in the air. Coming around to pick them up. Here comes your winner, 
Connor Williams, followed by Dylan Spear and Ryan Slott. Ian Gouin, that's how you say it, in car number 28. Bob Kellogg, he'll be in the 3GT on the inside, outside of row number two. Still haven't identified the outside of row number one. Right, so Boone Evans car number four is your leader out of Bollard, Texas. Followed by Paul Eady in car number 90. Neil Stanford for car number 11 in the third spot. Stan Sanford, car number 11, tries to look at the inside of the 90 car. He'll stand for car number 11 to the inside of the 90 car. He'll get the number two spot as he takes away from Paul Leedy. Sets his sights on the number four car of Boone Evans. Car number four into turn number three and four. Still your leader, followed by Neil Stanford, car number 11. Paul Levy, car number 90. Bob Kellogg, car number three GT in the fourth spot, in the fifth spot. That's going to be Ben Levy and Colton Gian in car number 28 to round out the field. The 28 car off the pace. Looks like he might be heading to the trailer. Two laps to go this time around. Evans. He'll pick up the white flag this time around as he comes off a of turn number four, followed by car number 11 of Neil Stanford. Coming off a of turn number four, here comes your winner to the checker flag, car number four. That's going to be Mr. Boone Evans. Caleb Dillard, car number 97, on the pole. Outside of him, Chase Hatton, and car number 87. Dylan Merrill. The Hunter Atkins, I'm sorry, car number six. The 09 of Kelly Coleman. And the 33 car, Cody McDaniel, out of Pickton, Louisiana. So Chase Hatton, car number 87, is your leader with the 97 car in the number two spot. That's Caleb Dillard. Hunter Atkins sits in third. Battle right now for the lead. I tell you what, it has been tough to outrun this 87 car out here all season. Chase Hatton down the back straightaway. I think he's got about three or four feature wins out here already this season in that car. But Dillard is hot on his tail, and he's trying to get away from him and uh, get that checker for him. Dillard is going to throw it to the inside. Hatton back to the throttle quicker. He'll stretch out to about the three-car lead as they go into turn number three and four. Chase Hatton, car number 87, your leader. Caleb Dillard, car number 97, in second. Dillard's going to try to dive down low this time. Chase Hatton, car number 87, continues to lead. Should be picking up two to go this time around. Chase Hatton, they'll be working their way into lap traffic here. White flag in the air for Chase.
chase that car number 87. He's got the 97 on his rear bumper. Been there the whole way. Checker will fly this time around. Chase Hatton, car number 87, still your leader. Lap traffic in front of them. Here they come. Hatton's pulling the right front. Oh! That looked like rush hour on I-10. Limited factory stock. Trying to get the cost down these guys here to be able to race out here with everybody. So if you've got an old car sitting around your house, this might be the way to get it out of the weeds and out here on the racetrack. Limited motors. They're still running the factory stock tires. So you're looking at 100 bucks for a full set of tires all the way around this thing. And the beauty of it is, is well, once you decide, man, I've got this under control, you can step up and run with the factory stock guys. So I know there's lots of people out there watching right now on uh, Race on Texas. And I guarantee it, there's lots of cars sitting out there behind the shop to say, man, it'll never make another lap. Here's your chance to get your car back on the track. First of all, they came out with the Pro Mods, and now we got the limited street stocks. Factory stocks. Don't count him out. That eight car, Will Carter. I've only seen him about two or three times, but every time I see the guy run, he's always good. Lee Davis in a red and a maroon and white number 100. Super late model driver. Ladies and gentlemen, your factory stock coming into three and four. We're off and running. CJ Howell's going to come down the front straight away as your leader. CJ Howell, car number two, your leader. Sean Graham, car number triple X in second. Lap number one is going to go into the books with CJ Howe, your leader. Sean Graham, car number triple X in second. Brian Cook, car number 100 in third spot. Will Carter, car number eight, driving Agent Orange in fourth. Dennis the 100 of Lee Davis, driving a maroon and white number 100. In the sixth spot right now, Todd Brady in car number eight. Bo Perry trying to get around him in car number 12. The 55 car and the 28 car side by side as they go down the back straightaway. Bubba Jones in 28. Scotty Dubois in car number 55. The 88 car trying to make it a bigger race. We're kind of piling up in turn number three and four. Sean Graham, car number triple X. He'll look to the inside of C.J. Howe. C.J. Howe's going to keep it out front for another lap. Will Carter, car number eight, up to the number three spot, gets around Lee Davis in car number 100. Brian took the car number 100X, dropped way back, four or five positions in one lap. Sean Graham on the inside of C.J. Howe as they go down the front straightaway. Will Carter, car number 8C in the number 3 spot. Lee Davis, car number 104. Todd Higgins, car number 8 in the 5th spot. Then Bo Perry looks to the inside of 
the number five spot. He'll stay in sixth. CJ Howe will stretch it out to over a car length. Then Sean Graham, he'll bring the triple X car. Right rear bumper. Probably within the next two to three laps, we'll be working to end the lap traffic. Sean Graham steps up one lane. Try, try to go around CJ Howe. Bottom's not going to work for him. Howe's got that blocked up. So Graham's going to get to the front. He's going to go to the high side. And Sean Graham, car number triple X, will stay in the number two place. One more time around. Howe is off the pace. CJ off the pace. So pick your favorite. Who's it going to be? Will Sean Graham stay in front of that other orange car? That 100 car stuff. Bo Perry stuff. Here we go for eight more laps of factory stock racing. Davis in car number 100 loops around on his own. Will Carter, car number 8C in second. Bo Perry, car number 12 in third. Brian Cook, car number 100 in fourth. Bubba Jones, car number 28 in fifth. Here we go. John Graham takes off. He's your leader down the back straightaway. Will Carter, car number 8C in second. Bo Perry looks to the rear. He'll try to go around the high side. Forget that. Here comes a 100 car to the inside. Bubba Jones up on two wheels into the wall. And he'll be out here in a it's limited modified in a few minutes. Here we go once again. Sean Graham, car number triple X, your leader, down the front straightaway, followed by Bo Perry. Bo Perry, car number 12, gets the number two spot, drops the eight car, Will Carter the third, the 101 car, starting to make his move up through the field as he goes to the inside of Scotty Dubois in car number 55. Joshua Martin, car number 88, has worked his way to fourth. And the 808 is coming to visit me here in the infield. Logan Elmwood off the pace on the front straightaway. Time around, Sean Graham, your leader. Bo Perry, car number 12 in second. Will Carter, car number 8C in third. Troy Evans, car number seven, gets up to the number six spot. Bo Perry looks for the inside of Sean Graham this time around. And the four car is going to go around by himself. He's going to keep it going. Back to your leaders, Sean Graham, still your leader in car number triple X. The 12 car of Bo Perry tries the high side. Sean Graham says, no sir, you're going to have to get around me some way or another. Bo Perry on the high side. Sean Graham. Bo Perry, he'll go to the inside this time. Come up at turn number three. Shows the nose. Car number four around. He'll go back to the infield. Stand green. Bo 
Joe Perry to the inside of Sean Graham down the box straight away. Sean Graham is making that triple X tough to get around. Bo Perry to the inside. Lots of sparks flying off the, tri the 88M of Josh Martin, and I don't think that's brakes. Troy Evans, car number seven to the inside of Josh Martin, coming off of turn number four. Back to the leaders, car number 12, trying to get around Sean Graham. He's been all over him. He cannot make the pass. Bo Perry sets up high, dives down low. Sean Graham, car number triple X, continues to lead. Bo Perry, car number 12, trying to do everything he can to get around that triple X, orange or white. Hit man, racing car. And here we come off a of turn number four once again. Two to go this time around. Meanwhile, Will Carter in car number 8C. He slipped back in there to make it a three-car show. Bo Perry, car number 12 to the inside down. Sean Graham, they go into turn number three and four. Perry's on the inside. Graham slips up down the front straightaway. It's going to be Perry by a half a car length. White flags in the air. Once again on the inside, not going to have the power. Your winner, car number 12, Mr. Bo Perry. Sean Graham, car number triple X, your number two finisher. Will Carter, car number eight, come home in the number three spot. But right now, we're fixing to talk to your feature winner driving car number 12. Ladies and gentlemen, your feature winner, Mr. Bo Perry. Oh, man, hold on. Let me get turned around here. All right, Bo Perry, good run. I was talking to you over there before the races started a while ago. Looks good, man. The car looked great out there. Man, it felt good. I can get underneath him, but he just kept kind of pinching me off, pinching me off. So finally, I just left it down there, and he got into me. So I had to capitalize on it right there. That was a hard-earned race, so that was fun. You ran, you ran him clean. I mean, that's a good race. That's that's, that's what that's what the people in the grandstands come out here to see, man. I hope they enjoyed it, because like I said, I like to put on a show, and this is twice now. I had to had to make sure I got this one. Let me ask you this: Did you enjoy it? Oh yeah, that's all, all that matters. Let's hear about the sponsor on the thing. First of all, I got Superior Grill, Laser Race Cars. I mean, my dad builds one of the best cars out there. J&J &J Motorsports, can't do it without Jody. Jeff Lewis with JRP Products, Superior Graphics with the nice looking race car. Um, advanced Powder Coating, 360 Insurance, and can't do it without my family. My mom, my sister, my friends, all of them, they help me out every weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, car number 12, Mr. Feature winner. All right, get on the you talk So if you want to go racing on the cheap side, this is the way to do it right here. Factory stocks. It's a good way to get out here. It's a good way to get out the grandstands and out here racing. Brittany Shireen, car number triple X, your leader. That B5, B51 is always a tough car every time I've seen him run out here. Got a pretty good race right now between the F5 and Shireen for the number one spot. Ben McDuff in car number F5. Brandon Jackson in car number B51 in the number two spot, uh, three spot.
green car, number triple X, your leader, down the back straightaway. The F5 in the number two spot of Ben McDuff. He's got company on the rear bumper out of B51. That's Brandon Jackson. Brandon Jackson, car number B51. That thing looks like it was uh, some kid was driving at the college last week. That, that just looks like a street car there. And he'll put the nose to McDuff's rear bumper. Jackson in car number B51 trying to get around McDuff's, the F5, the Tornado. Meanwhile, Brittany Shireen is driving off for the show halfway through this time around. McDuff opens the door and Jackson tries to stick the car to B51. We got a pass. He loosens him up. Brad uh, Brandon Jackson, car number B51, tries to get around McDuff's car number F5. Race for second and third right now. Brittany Shireen running off the lead. Easy, easy. Jackson and Maduff leaning on one another pretty hard. Meanwhile, Brittany Shireen, she's just going to drive off and leave these two guys. Two to go this time around. White flag will fly this time around for car number triple X, Brittany Shireen. McDuff, car number F5. He'll stretch the lead out over Jackson in car number B51. And coming into turn number three and off of four for the feature win, Brittany Shireen out of Shreveport, Louisiana. Parks his old Pontiac once again up here on the front row. I know it's a Pontiac because it's got a big old arrowhead right here on the front. That's the that's a dead giveaway. Pontiac Sunfire, she says. She's coming out of the car here. Brittany, good run once again. I've talked to you quite a few times on the front straightaway now. Yeah, a couple. That's that's pretty good, huh? Yeah, it is. It's a lot of fun running down here. Let's hear about the sponsor on this thing. I uh, got to thank Sean, Hitman Designs, Jody at J&J Motorsports, Summer Grove Auto Care, uh, W&W Timber, and uh, Racing for Tanner, as always. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me get your picture over here on the other side. Oh. Can't leave out affordable cleaning. Okay. Got them in there. Come around here. We'll get your picture taken. He's out here racing. Long pull for him out of Hallsville, Texas. No matter what, he is going racing. Here we go. Connors, car number 47cc, your leader. Followed by the... Blue Nevins, car number four, in second. Dylan Spear to the infield. Dylan Stadiver, car number 11S, up to third. Dylan Spear, car number 22, had his wife over there working on the tires. Ryan Slot, car number 49, pulling over here by himself tonight. Williams, car 
car number 47cc, your leader. And he's got company out of car number four on his rear bumper. Boone Evans, car number four in the number two spot. Neil Standard for car number 11 F currently sits in third, followed by Dylan Spear, car number 22 in fourth, and Ryan slots around up to top five. Ben Lady and Paul Lee having a pretty good battle back here for the sixth and seventh spot right now. Connor Williams, car number four, still your leader. Boone Evans, car number four, in the number two spot. Good battle right now between Dylan Spear, the 22 car, and Neil Stanford, car number 11S, for third and four. Ryan Slot, car number 49, continues to hold down fifth. And Sherrod Wallace, car number 54, pulls off the track out of West Monroe, Louisiana. Ben Lady, car number 99 in sixth. Ryan Slot, car number 49 in the fifth spot. Dylan Spear, 22 in fourth. Neil Stanford, car number 11S in the third spot. Boone Evans, car number four, continues in the second spot. And your leader, the 4.7 cc of Connor Williams. The 21 car, after having problems with the rear end on his car, worked all night to get it out here, finally makes it to the track. Kevin Peters out of Hallsville, Texas. Right now, got it up to speed, racing with Colt again. Bob Kellogg, car number three GT, off the pace. Right in front of him, the 90 car of Ben Leedy. A Paul Leedy. Then the 99 car of Paul Leedy. Ben Leedy, too many ladies out here. Ben Leedy, car number 99, currently sits at six. Ryan Slott, car number 49 in the fifth spot. Dylan Spear, the 22 in fourth. The 11 car, Stanford in second. Evans, car number four in the number two spot. And Connor Williams, your leader once again. The Southern Sassalon Special, car number 47cc, is really good. And Bob Kelly. And Neil Stanford, he's always tough. He's on the outside on row number two. Here we go with two to go. Stanford gets the number two spot. He takes around Connors. We're going 20 laps. I just found that out. I thought we were, I thought we were wrapping this race up. This is a 20 lap feature. So we're going 20 laps of this race here. Thought it was 15. With a three-way battle down the back straightaway. Evans, Connors. Spears, side by side. Evans will go to the number one spot. Connor, back to the inside. Three wide, through turns number one and two. Dylan Spear, your new leader. Clip by car number four. Dylan Spear, car number 22, your new leader. The 22 of Dylan Spear is your leader. Ryan Slott still in the fourth spot. Slot will look to the inside of Connor Williams. Oh, he gets turned around by the 99 car. All right, here we go. Lights are out. Dylan Spear, your current leader. Boone Evans.
Evans, car number four, in the number two spot. Connor Williams, car number four, seven CC, in third. Ryan Slott, car number 49 in third. Kellogg, whoa, hold on. Yep. All right, Dylan Spear, car number 22, brings them around. Car number four in the number two spot. Connor Williams, car number 47CC in third. Ryan Slot, car number 49 in fourth. Paul Lee, car number 90 in the fifth spot. Two to go this time around. Dylan Spear comes out of the car, car number 22 Magnum. Good run, man. Here you worked here. It's a long, tough race here. Had your wife over there working on the tires a while ago. That's that's pretty impressive, huh? Yeah, I got to thank her for everything she does for me. All right, let's hear about the sponsor on this thing here, man. Uh, I've got to thank my dad with Spears Oil & Gas Consultant, uh, Jerry Johnson, Oil & Gas Consultant, Avita Transportation, uh, Buck Russell Motorsports. He owns this car. Uh, he was able to be here tonight. Uh, my wife with Serenity Salon and Spa, uh, Blanchard Holland, and uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, and IRP. All right. Tell you what, I'm going to get on this side here. I'm going to get your picture here real quick. You want to get in the photo here? 15 lap feature event coming up here. Chase Hatton, car number 87. Off. Dylan on the outside. Here we go. Chase Hatton. He'll bring him off down the front straight away. Hatton, your leader into turn number one and two. Dillard to the top of the track. The sixth car of Hunter Atkins up to third. Cody McDaniel, car number 33 and fourth. Kelly Coleman, car number 09 and fifth. Chase Hatton, car number 87. Starting to stretch that lead out already over Dillard. Now Dillard's not going to give up though. Car number 87, Caleb Dillard trying to run. He's in the number two spot. He'll try to work his way to the number one spot. Hunter Atkins, car number six in third. Cody McDaniel, car 33 in fourth. And Kelly Coleman to round out the field. These are your Pro Mods. Your Pro Mods are running on absolutely slick tires, the same tires as your factory stocks run.
a Caleb Dillard. He'll be driving a wing modified, I believe, in two weeks out here. Not positive, but I believe I think the wing modified will be coming up out here pretty soon to Showtime Speedway. And Chase had car number 87. Got this car on a rail. Talked to him a while ago. He said he is trying to fight it a while ago. He said it was tight. He's trying to loosen it up for the feature. Looks like he's loosened something up because it's looking awful good. Chase Hatton starting to carry the left front tire all the way through the corner. Get a lot of drive out of this car on these absolutely slick tires. Chase Hatton, your winner. Another feature win for this number 87 car. All right, crawl down the car. Here's Showtime Speedway, car number 87. Chase Hatton, another feature win for him. Chase, congratulations, man. What is it like to drive a car of this kind of legend magnitude, man? Man, it's definitely an honor, you know. I especially got to thank Mr. Ray, you know. I got to thank him every weekend, you know, for letting me come out here. Uh, I'm just glad I beat that 97. I wish I could have done it last week. All right, well, let's hear about the sponsors on this car. Who all helps you out with this thing? Uh, mainly Mr. Ray, you know, it's his car, uh, the whole IRP family right there, you know, Jason Ingles, Ricky. Uh, I got to thank Phil Towson this week, you know, he gave me some pointers on something and uh, it seemed to be working. So you told me a while ago the car was too tight. You had the, you had the front tire on this thing coming off the ground a while ago. This is supposed to be on slick tires. Is that supposed to happen? Uh, it definitely wasn't comfortable to drive. Uh, I thought changing shocks maybe it toned it down a little bit, but it uh, didn't seem to help. Uh, Especially the dew or, you know, the mist here, you know, uh, my face shield kept fogging up, so I wanted to raise my face shield and shoot, I'm pouring water out of something. 
I think it's called Dog. It's part dust and part fog. We'll call it Dog. How's that sound? That sounds good to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, chase that and your feature winner.